Hello and welcome back to Darkwood Alpha 8.1. Today we're... I actually have no idea what it is that we're doing. I remember something about elephants. But I don't remember if we wanted to go after them. Right. Northeastern part of the old of the swamp. Uh, it actually hasn't been that long since I've last played, but I just don't remember what it was that I wanted to do. Um, let me take a look at my abilities, too. I think I'll start making more use of this ability, because it's probably would have, you know, kept me safe. Runner is probably good for running back home. Um, and Moth as well. But we'll see. Um, I don't think, anyway, I think my, I think all the inventory and stuff is all sorted, right? It looks like it. Um, I think I am going to settle on... Why does that keep happening? Well, okay. It's probably for the same reason that this thing keeps coming back. It just doesn't save correctly. But yeah, um, from what I remember though, we're... Hmm, there is a little bit to explore here still. There's like a couple of doors to lockpick. Because, what did I do? Oh right, I ran off after like spending a little bit of time inside the thing. So, you know, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to wrap this up, and then I'm going to try maybe the junkyard. Like, that's a good parallel thing to be doing. Right. Just really isn't worth running through the water at all. Morning in the swamp, huh? It's wonderful. And there's also, um, like, up, up somewhere that we have to go still, right? I like how I know now that that noise is actually just the, uh... Oh, really? Okay. Well, whatever. That noise is partly the, just the noise from the tree. Um, yeah, where was it? Uh, that's okay. That's about about where I want to be. Hey, crazy eye thing. That was a chomper. Is it? I think is that a bug, or is it supposed to look like it's being eaten? I can't really tell. Anyway, I think. All right, that's a lockpick door, but we broke in, so we don't need to worry about that. So this is another trend, right? Like, here's a corpse with all these trend tendrils. R really, really? Come on. I'm just gonna let that that roll. Why am I so low on health? Uh, I might not be able to let that roll, now that I think about it. Open? Yeah. No, well, that did less damage than I was expecting it to, actually. Uh, I don't want to waste that on this either, though. We'll try it. I don't know, if we go anywhere that has... Um... So, alright, well we can save ourselves a lockpick, then. Because I think this is the only other door that we found. Uh, I'm so tempted to click it. Mm. I gotta get out of here before I kill myself. Uh, tape is good though. I've been wanting that for various reasons. But yeah. Oh, is that the the dog? Okay, I already nabbed its stuff. I think there's also a couple of corpses somewhere that we uh, we could go take stuff from it's so dark in here oh I commented on that before I really like that just the partial 3d-ness kind of stuff there's nothing in here this was it this is the lockpick door because I don't think there's a way to break into this one right I haven't seen anything at least Okay. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything. So yeah, let's lockpick this. Get ourselves... Well, let's open you. 
all these corpses, like, attached to the... Is there a radio near each one of these? It's just woods. Yeah, I don't know, it's weird. I guess... I guess it's the tree trunk, right? Because then it's like the tree that's been assimilating everything. Hmm. Ooh, wood logs. Sure, I'll take it. Oh, another corpse. Not a lot of loot from the corpses, but, you know, I'll take it. I'm not going to complain. Can I turn this on? I remember there was a generator somewhere, but it was empty, right? Out there. Empty generator, right? No! Wait, no, okay. There's a little bit of generator. Can I... Is there gas around here? Like, can I spend the night here? Let me see if there's anything in here that I missed. Creepy light. Oh, I did miss something. This wardrobe. <gasps> Axe Edge! We might finally be able to do something other than this crap window to nothing. Okay. Well, alright. So there's this. I don't think... The light should help indicate if there's anything left, right? And I don't think... It's not been normal for light to go too far. I'm pretty sure this is related to the other shining things, but I really don't understand exactly how yet. They make electric sounds, though. And there is some kind of... Um, that... <sighs> To me, it reads like it's uh, radiation of some kind. The big red things that poison you when you look at it. On the other hand, radiation doesn't usually poison you just only when you look at it. So I'm not totally sure, but... Mm, fuck it. I want to go up, explore up top. Wait. Um, what can I... What is this? Oh, okay, it's just a gap. I wanted to explore up, but I know there's one of the annoying things that I hate over here somewhere. So I'll have to kill it, and I plan to kill it with bullets. Seriously, what is that noise? Oh! Ah! What the? Okay, they, they, and they poison. Can I attack you? No. Cool. Except not really. All right then. So I guess that explains what that sound was. Ow, oh, what? I actually didn't really see it. Did it leap out at the wa from the water? Or maybe it came from over here. I don't like you. Uh, swampers, well, I guess they don't hurt that bad. Now that I think about it, because I didn't take a whole lot of damage from that. Yeah? Alright. I just want to make sure I wrap up the village before I move on. That's really it. Okay, so that's that. Really? Killer trees? Cool, I'll take it. I'm not going to complain. That's also pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Let go. Let go. Oh, can I not escape you in the water? Uh... What? I don't... I don't understand what to do. Okay. Um. This is bad. This is pretty bad. I don't want to shoot the tree. <laughs> Or I'll just...
just drown. Okay. So, killer tree. Pretty bad. Pretty mean. Let's go get our stuff back, because there's not a whole lot standing between us and it. I wonder if there's something we can do... Well, well, Molotov probably doesn't work on something that's in the water, does it? I tried to think of uh, if we have one of those swampers attacking us while we're in the water, what can we do? Alright. So, is it this thing? It's up there. I feel like I want to burn you. I feel like fire is the thing I need. Fire is probably the correct answer. This is new, I think? I don't think I've been here. We'll find out, I guess. Nope. Doesn't respond to light at all. That's the annoying part. <sighs> Anything out here? Probably not. Probably just woods. Ooh, mushrooms. Do like mushrooms. Uh. No, don't repair anything in here. I like how they do let you just burn through resources if you feel like it, though. It's like, yeah, you, you want to repair that? Go for it. We're not going to stop you or help you. I do notice that I can't get... over there. Then again, it's not clear that I'd want to. Alright. Let's see. How close can we get? There we go. Doop, doop, doop. Stuff. It's already getting late. But we found more wood logs, so everything is okay. Ah. <sighs> I don't know. If I had to guess... I would have said that we would go around somewhere over here. That does not seem to be the case. And there's also obviously something on the other side. Which, you know, probably not good news, frankly. Uh, okay, so maybe it's that we head around this way? Does that work? We, uh, we can't even... Where do we gotta go? Uh, it's 6.30. I'm gonna start heading back. Because we gotta do stuff earlier than usual. You don't have anything new to say, right? And I've searched your backpack. No. Oh, yeah, I know. Okay. Well, at least it's all clean up here. I'm not going to use the skill, because... Well, is there a good reason to use the skill? Like, how is a day measured here? Like, if I run... I guess let's find out. Let's find out. If I run now... Do I, um... Actually, can I run in this without costing? Ooh, that's kind of nice. That's pretty nice, actually. That's, that's a pretty good way to make it back home. I'm going to start doing that. But, um, yeah, the question is, is it, uh, I've got plenty of generator. No, don't want to anger you. Um, can we make you yet? No, we don't have enough things. We found some, though. Got one of them. Hooray. We've got gas, and we've got wood, we've got stabbies. Alright, I'm going to start heading into safety. Because I kind of got to. 
This is about all the time I have. This is helpful though, except not really, because I'm already at full health. Oh well. Alright, let's see how this goes. Come here, wardrobe. Keep me safe. Uh oh. Oh no, it it uh it stopped being triggered. I'm gonna have to let go of the meat that I'm carrying. And that thing. Uh I have plenty of batteries actually. I thought I had fewer. Flare. I still don't really know what to do with flares, I guess. I never really use them. Hmm. Oh good. We're already facing a chomper. I hope you're taking out that for some stupid reason. Don't push in here. Is that it? I think that was it. Okay. I don't hear it walking around inside, so... That's good, I guess? Ooh. Oh no, not you. I don't like you. I wish I knew what triggered you. They're going in here too, so I guess that kind of vindicates my decision to sit around in here. This may not have been the best place for a trap, now that I think about it. Although we've at least learned, you know, a great deal about how to deal with those things. Does it hurt these things? That seems to have no problem with it, though. The knights are pretty varied here, which is cool. Should I repair that doorway? Eventually, probably. You're gonna spawn in here, aren't you? Nope. I am okay with you over there, frankly. That's fine. Actually, now that I think about it, why... Don't I go into the larger area? All oh right, because I can't. Uh, there's like a gap here, right? I don't know. I guess I'll try triggering this thing and seeing if it's related at all. Because these, th I, I'm less afraid of these things now that I sort of know that I can just make sure they're not visible and everything's fine. Is that something? Is that ick? No. That's over there. Don't mind me. I just two hours. That's all I need. That probably was close. I think it could probably get through that gap, couldn't it? What? Well, come on. Oh hey, he hit twice for once. Good. <sighs> they keep destroying the wardrobes. 
Wardrobes are expensive to repair, though. Yes, yeah, screw you. Hate you. Well, at least doesn't like destroy the stuff as well. Doop doop doop. All right. Here you are. No. Stupid black ick. <laughs> this is probably enough to top off. Probably. I mean, top off and then some, really. Do like to stay topped off. Hmm. There we go. There we go. Wonderful. Let's make some planks. Not a lot left, but it's more than zero. Oh, come on. Let's make exactly six planks. Is what I meant, obviously. Hey, buddies. Still silent, huh? <sighs> what do I want from you? I think if we take one of these, it'll be the last one we need. So, I'll take just one for now. Let's go in here. I need more tape. Let's go use our thing before it evaporates, turns into something we can weaponize. Oh, well, how much is that? 310? 310 for 16,000. I think I'll just wait on that. I'd rather keep the rep and use it for other stuff, like useful stuff. Well, let's go put away the the gas. Oh, come on. All right. Hey, black stuff. Don't mind me. I don't mind you. Do we need to repair the sickle? I don't know. Probably. We probably should. Just because we kind of have to. But we're very close to not needing it anymore. It really saddens me that we can't really can't upgrade any of this stuff, huh? The axe is upgradable. Five tapes. All right. Boop. What do I need to upgrade? Pliers. I, didn't I find extra pliers? Or was that the first pliers that I found? Hmm. I guess it must have been the first pliers that I found. Well, either way, we at least have enough. To uh, we we can actually uh, set aside enough because it's ten, right? Oh, fourteen! Wow, fourteen! Twenty nails and pliers. Okay, well at least that's all there. Um, this is almost all there. I'm gonna aim for that. There was something to use a shovel on. Oh man, that's tempting. Oh, I'm sure we'll get another stick. There are stick guys around. Probably? I don't know. Can we buy sticks from the three? It seems like the kind of thing that they would sell. Honestly. I'm guessing no. You can buy tape from them, though. It's very tempting to buy that tape. But I think I'd rather buy gas. For tonight. And then some of this, yeah, yeah. Can we give you anything in return? That probably won't fly, will it? They don't buy it back, though. That's interesting. I'll take the gas for now because I definitely want that. I don't. I'm not super comfortable with the amount of gas we have. I like having a spare 
because that means that we can uh there's there's nothing in here watch I'm just, I guess I don't know that's so little that here you go good good job so now we have a spare gas tank which is nice because that means that we can focus on on actually making progress without too much concern how did this happen oh this must have just been from one of the nights and I haven't really gone back to it yet um... let's see let's see we've repaired this thing which we need to one day we'll be able to make the axe one day could make the shovel and go dig but I don't remember where to dig I don't know I'm gonna do it because I wanna I wanna do that I whatever I think I have the feeling that if it's something that wants us to dig at it to get to it it's probably valuable so much clever inventory management has to be done here ha <sighs> are we ever gonna make the bottles with gas again I don't know they were pretty effective but they're also two stage which is the annoying part I guess we could use them to like lead ourselves into a place we just like throw it in and then boom except stuff doesn't seem to rot often enough either way three is a good number of those I think so here we go let's keep the shovel on hand I would like more bullets someday let's go sell you can have this um how much is bullets? Too much. Here you go. It's almost tempting to just do that. But no, there's no rush. There's no rush. No rush. What are the logistics of holding up in here? Because this is just too many destroyed wardrobes for my taste. Can we do traps but I don't really have any competent traps like they're all one-time use and then you're kinda screwed so you have to have a reservoir of them hmm and the creatures have gotten smart and start attacking uh, wardrobes now so this place isn't safe but then again neither is this one so Well, do we have enough to repair this? No, no, no. Repair. Three more. Four nails, three thingamajigs. Eh, probably not going to be upgrading it anytime soon, so there we go. And there we go. Well, build, yes. All right, pretty jammed in there. <sighs> Can I live in here? Can I get into here from there, or do I have to go around here? I'm gonna try this real quick because I just I can't I don't have a good idea for what the geometry of this thing is. So let's see how it compares with a wardrobe. Can I jam this with a wardrobe? Probably, actually. Yeah, if I just work that out correctly, then you can totally jam a wardrobe in here. One, two, it's like a little pivot. That should do it. Maybe. Kind of? Not really sure. Probably not, is what I'm feeling. But either way, it seems like we could take a wardrobe and stick it there. And then we'd have this whole space if we stick another wardrobe there. Um, but we don't have enough vision blocking wardrobes. So that's not great. 
On the other hand, with two vision blocking wardrobes and a normal blocking wardrobe, well, actually, with just two vision blocking wardrobes, we should be able to set up in here just fine. And then we would, uh, well, never mind. I don't know, I keep going back and forth just because this thing keeps getting destroyed. I don't, that just seems like way too much. It's a lot to keep rejuvenating. Although maybe I should just, you know, actually use, what is the other option with this thing? Doorway? Examine it. Okay, so presumably I would have to like throw a match at it. And that would blow it up. So that could be useful to put like, you know, around the edge so that I could run past it and then take a match and boom, blow something up. Maybe I also underutilize traps, but I'm so, like, they just, I get, I'm so scared of getting screwed by my own traps. It also seems like, um, we could use this pretty effectively if we wanted to, right? Like, we just smash it in the back and off it goes and it blows up and destroys stuff. I'm trying to rotate it, which is remarkably difficult. <laughs> there we go. Well, I feel like what we'd want is, okay, Chomper starts coming in, right? And then we can just do that and smash it. And then we could ha we could just carry around enough nails and, and stuff to for that not to be a problem. Okay, well, what to do? Um, I don't know that I still don't know that I want to head off to the elephants yet. I feel like I more want to I want to find that thing to dig. But I don't remember where. I know it's somewhere in the village, I think. I'm going to go explore and look for that. Uh let's not keep this here. On the other hand, nothing's ever really attacked that front door. So this could all just be a waste of just wasted effort. But it does seem like if we really wanted to, we could board up, you know, here, slash a, smash a wardrobe there, smash a wardrobe there, and smash a wardrobe there. And uh, we could have the whole space available for us to move around in at night. But there's a trade-off to that, right? Like, there's um, having that larger space means, okay, well, something could break that wardrobe or that door or that. It's like a bigger surface area to get attacked from. So smaller rooms are kind of useful, um, which is why even down here, I would almost, now that I know how the red things work, I would almost want to just hold up in here. Downside to that, though, is we'd probably need to make sure we have repair supplies on hand, because if anything, like, that's the trade-off, right? If anything, in, in a space, larger space, if one of these things breaks, you can sort of retreat and board up or something. Um, you can't do that when you just have one or two rooms, but you're at lower risk in general. So what is it? Let's go find that place to dig. Doop 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 doop. Who's running? Uh, no. Where was that place to dig? I feel like mm, I think it was in here somewhere, right? Like actually in the like where the cripple is or something. I take everything from here. Yeah. I'm gonna check though, cause I I don't know. I haven't really been down here a whole lot of times. Was it? Um, it wasn't in there. We were just in there. That's not it either. But close. I think it's... Oh, fine, whatever. Leap over it. These are all... I kind of like that these are all plausible uh, spaces to hole up in, though. Like, I feel like I... 
feel like I want to consider, you know, holding up in one of these, but you really can't. Was it down here? It's the hatch that I can't enter, right? I don't know. Where was it? I, th I, I have the feeling that it's up here somewhere. It was near all this, you know, madness. That's the downstairs, and there wasn't. Oh, is it? Was it this? Just the leaves withering away. It wasn't in here. There's not really a whole lot of anything going on in here. Ah, you know, it's a weird thought. What he's doing when he's searching one of those corpses? Just don't think about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, here it is. Cool. Now, things to keep in mind. There were noises over there. Okay. Oh. Wait, what? It's like a search option, right? Okay. Ooh, okay, sure. I will gladly take it. Hmm. I feel like I should be careful. Well, I mean, generally true in dark wood, but especially careful. Oh, I know what's in there. I know what you are. Get over here. Oh, don't disappear. Don't do that. It's not good. Oop. Come on. Oh, you do leap out. All right. That did not go too well. But yet, yeah, it was probably the best I've ever done against one of these things. So, okay, so they leap out at you. I really hate how the sickle has no knockback. I really do. Ah, oh, the axe can't come long enough, soon enough. Yes, I will do that. I should have a health item left, right? Like the... Did I consume it? I shouldn't have consumed it. Ooh. See, I don't like that noise. Is it gonna rain? <sighs> well, I have this at least. Oh, come on. Alright, well. Do you make sleeping noises?
give me a sec. Throwing knife. Hey, buddy. Why did it wake up? Is it just proximity based? strong to dismantle, huh? Hmm. So what does that mean? I'd have to, like... Nope. That did nothing. Oh, okay. So there's nothing but that guy back here. What a great... Thanks, Darkwood. Alright, so... So they make the same sleeping noises as well as the chompers, as well as those other enemies as well that glitched into our hideout before. That's kind of, well, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. On the one hand, I want to say it's neat that it's uniform, right? Like, that's good UX in a sense. Uh, do I want to be back here? I feel like I don't really want to be back here. Ah! Okay, there was another window. Could have gone out of... So... Nothing then. At least not that I can see. Oh! There's a thing here. Ah, cool, we did it. We win. What do we find? What do we find? That's not bad at all. What's this? Map. Map? Hmm. Interesting. I can't unbarricade it. Okay, well, would have been nice, but whatever there we go, uh, no, well, mushrooms don't want to step on the mushrooms and get killed in a really ignoble way oh, so that was just around okay and I can't go around that way so, alright, well hmm I am satisfied then like, we have explored Everything, I think. Everything I know of, so that's good enough for me. Do we have time to do anything else? Well, we have that uh, new location on our map we could go try to find. I really, I kind of wish that, like, now that I have this new location, I could ask, for example, you about it. Okay, what does he say about the inventory of food again? Right, okay. That's fine. Uh huh. What is this? I don't like the rain. Rain is creepy. Right. Easiest way out is through up here. And I'm pretty sure there's nothing else. Uh, the vines. Okay. Flesh eating tree. There's really nothing else up here, right? Because that's. Well, I don't know what that is. And we've been through all this. Yep, this is the same place. Alright, cool. I accept that I have completed. I really wish I knew what to do with you, though. The answer is probably fire. I'm willing to bet it's fire. 
Which means I should carry around matches or something, shouldn't I? Start carrying those around just to fight off hungry trees. That sounds like exactly how you'd do it, Darkwood. It really does. Alright, well. There's definitely. Come on. We'll figure these guys out one day. I'm sure of it. Breathe harder. Yeah, whatever. Alright, well, I don't know. Was the shovel worth it? Not sure. Could keep it, though. In case I need to dig up other things. Um, I'm gonna go cook before I lose the opportunity. Right. So it's a good thing we did this, because this is not the kind of thing you want to be doing last minute. And I think we'll probably, yep, we'll break it. We are now maximized. Invisible, more damage when stamina is low. Since my test stamina is always low, that seems like what to do. Yeah, we're not hitting that anytime soon. Is that 865,000? I'm sure it's actually not impossible to farm yourself that much, that much essence by just like going around and killing things. But you would have to be pretty clean, pick everything real clean to get there. So that seems like a safe limit. Boink. Hooray. One more slot. I also feel like I should repair this knife. Just because it's getting too low. Um, I don't know. I feel like I don't have enough time for inventory management anymore. Quick. You. Good. That's good enough. I don't know what I'm going to do about planks, but whatever. Alright, it triggered you again, so see how it goes. It's just so creepy, and yet so harmless. Alright. That was useful for once. I don't... Is that, oh, the mushrooms grow at night. That's right. I'd forgotten about that. Why did the chompers show up last night? Oh. There we go. Hooray! Everything is fine. Um, well, we do have the thing, though. Let's see. How do I want to organize this? Maybe like so? Cause I kind of want that to be a last resort. Hmm. probably be using the numpad to switch between those things. Like, I like the mouse wheel and all, but there's enough of these that, like, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be tough to get used to. I almost feel like I want to store the alcohol so we can make Molotovs with it. It's probably more useful than uh, any of the alternative uses. Ooh, dogs. And a centipede spawned again. Why do they spawn sleeping? I'm relatively confident that's probably a bug. Ooh, what's... red. Hmm. Sounds like it's over there somewhere. 
think there's just a dog stuck over here somewhere. Yeah, like there. There haven't been banshees around here either, have there? Well, I guess we didn't really need to repair it, because we have the spare knife. So we could have sold it, and then gone for the other knife. Could still do that, actually, because the repaired knife, I think, is worth more than the stuff it takes to repair. So, yes, let's do that. Because I don't really, like, the knives are repairable. I don't really like carrying around extra ones. I think they're probably more valuable as, uh, as rep. This is my favorite kind of night. Probably not your favorite kind of night because it's not very fun to watch, but I like this. Where, you know, I just chill. It's okay. It's not entirely true. I like the minor events, like the the red thing that comes up because it at least gives me... It's at least a little bit of tension. This is more like, that I'm going to wake up and smash that thing in during the time stop and that's, that's how that's going to go. No real mystery there. Wonder why this thing got stuck. Is it still there? Yeah, well, maybe. It's hard to tell. It's like a very specific. Very specific location that had a. There we are. I wonder if it's actually just like pushing into the thing. Or if it's the eyeball? Does the eyeball have health? Hmm. Well, either way, the just enjoyable kind of night. I'm okay with that. Oh, well, I was going to like run outside and see what it was that was over there. Is it gone? No. All right. Let's go greet it. Say good morning. What has is it the door? The door has been attacked at some point. Hello, centipede. I'm guessing that these are supposed to like actually spawn alive and do very bad things to you. Under the chair too. That noise. You. You too. You also make a weird noise. Stop it. Alright, well, more gas. That's good. I'm okay with that. Hello? Oh, I can sell them the odd meat. I don't think there's a good use for it other than essence, right? So, sure. And the knife. Yes, much knife. Uh, I don't really want that anymore. What am I low on that I would like? Weapon parts, probably. But otherwise, well, let's go see what we can craft first, or what we want to craft, basically. Let's see here. We want the stick and lots of tape. So maybe we should buy tape from them. I don't know what we're going to do with the shovel. I kind of want to keep it around just in case. Just in case. I can make a Molotov, and I think I will. I'm also going to buy. Let's buy rags from them, actually. Let's do that. Rags has been a rare commodity. So, do you have rags? You do. Good. And tape. Good. We'll take red tape and rags. Sure. And all of your wood. Because wood has also. Well, we could take gas instead. How does this work out? Uh, yeah, let's find out. So it takes me 60 for 10 planks, right? And it takes me 58 for a full can of gas. Let's see which one yields more wood. First of all, let's go deposit this here. 
put that towards the slush fund. Uh, I feel like I should carry this around. Yeah, it along with this is a pretty good, pretty good for that. Um, if I had more ammo, I'd probably switch away entirely from the sickle and just use just use knives in this because that would probably handle most things. Uh, I bought those exclusively to do this with. Pretty much exclusively to do this with. So, hooray! A health item! Unlike, you know, before. Um, yeah, I guess that's about right. Okay, so, 58 rep, right? How much... How many uh, planks does that give me? I think it gives me more planks. So this is actually a more efficient way to get wood. That's a lot of gas. Alright, see this. So I need what? 18! Twice as many! That is a lot of yield. That is a lot of yield. And we have spare, yeah, like gasoline to spare, so that's all good news. All good news. Let's see here. We need 14, was it? 14 plus 20 plus eventually pliers. Uh, what else we want to have? I don't really want to be carrying around 10. We want that slush fund, the repair fund. I'm going to move that over there because it's just rarer. I'm just going to bump the repair fund up to 10 now. And we can pair that with this at will. Um, so now we can repair... Uh, how much... Does it cost... It should cost less to repair the less... Um, the less used it is to sort of encourage you. I mean, up to a point, right? Like, maybe... I just feel like before you know, if you repair it before the halfway point, maybe it should cost half as much, something like that, just to encourage you to upkeep stuff. Because otherwise, it doesn't really make sense to repair this until it's almost out. Well, I guess that does create tension, right? Because now I kind of want to leave this until I can't. But it seems a little bit artificial. It just seems like it's too. It doesn't quite make sense that it takes as much to repair it now as it does later. So it can be maybe like a you know, more exponential type scale, right? Where it costs one if you repair it like up here, but it costs like, uh, I guess you can't really do halves, but you could maybe try to balance it. Like maybe it takes more, uh, like it takes one one in the first quarter, in the second half it takes um, an extra wood, say, and then in the last quarter it takes two of both. That be that could be neat. That could be a neat way to sort of encourage you to spend a little bit every now and again. I don't know. Just a thought. Just a thought. Oh, is that what happened here? I got the um, damn it. Uh, I noticed that there was a bottle for the presumably from when I just used it just now. So that's cool. Alright, let's see what else. We're kinda well, we're not really running it on batteries, right? We we have at least I think at least one spare battery should be good enough. Well, we're running kinda low. I don't know. I'm gonna roll with one extra. Here we are. We have enough for an extra round of magazines. Here's what I'm gonna do instead. Complete a lockpick, because that frees up a slot. Is there anything else I can sell? Can I make anything to sell from any of the remainder? Uh, I don't know. Plank with nails, I guess? How much is a plank with nails worth? Doesn't say. Well, we have a lot of materials. Let's find out. Right? Let's see this. So, plank with nails. They will pay 30 for it. 10 nails is 20, and so it's 
probably cost a little bit more to make it from scratch. However, it definitely costs less than the wood it takes to make it, and I have nails to spare. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, do that again, because I have plenty of nails. I'm basically swapping nails for, uh, for rep, I guess, at a very low exchange rate. Right, because I take 10 nails that I don't want, and 2 planks that I buy, so 12 planks, and I make 18 each time. So that's not bad, actually. That's not bad at all. I should see if I can find a better, like a better ratio, but yes, I do want... <sighs> I don't like... No, oh, don't sell it to him. I don't really like walking around with a pistol, but no extra ammo, especially when it's already halfway out. Is this what I want in my inventory? Probably. I feel like I want... well... We can swap these two... well, we no, we really should be swapping these two, because most likely, anywhere... anywhere that I can take an extra knife to, probably a Molotov will do. Um... yes. Not as many spare slots as I'd like. Maybe I'll stash away the bread, because I haven't really... I do have that skill. I'm going to start trying to rely on it more. So let's go stash away the bread. Um, I'm going to go walk around and drop that in there. Hey, buddy. Like where you live? I hope you don't. It's not great. You should be choosier. Alright. And you. I don't know. Do you? Is it you? Oh. Hmm, that I didn't know. But it's probably good that that happens, actually. Because that means that you can't push it in. So that does mean that there was probably a dog right here all of last night. <laughs> Just pushing into the... pushing into it. Uh, Alright, well... I'd say we're doing pretty well, actually. We've got extra ammo, we've got a few spare planks, I could probably, let's just, yeah, top off in planks. Three lockpicks, which is more than enough to unlock a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, we're out of rep with the three, though, which isn't great. I think I still want to make... <sighs> One day I want to make that double barrel shotgun. And I have enough tape for it, at least now. Uh, but I will need more. And I'll need the expensive things that I don't know how to find, actually. So, alright, well. I think we have a number of goals. We have somewhere up here to go. We have that place to explore, or try to. And we have the junkyard. So, all, you know, uh, plenty of... Ooh, that's tempting, but no, I won't do it. Plenty of goals to strive for. Uh, but I think this about gives us at the end of an episode. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Next time we'll go... I'm, I'm leaning heavily towards the hide in the junkyard, because we haven't really... Village, I think, is pretty clean. This is a new area, and we have a goal over there. But the junkyard came first, um, so I think order I'll probably go in, which might change. Uh, I'll probably try exploring the junkyard. Maybe also this area, because there's something in here. Uh, to be explored, at least. There's a little marker. Um, so, probably the junkyard, maybe that cottage. Uh, and then do the elephants thing, just sort of make progress, like real progress in the in the chapter. And then go for the... Um, up here, and see what this is about. Because this is either Golgotha, the hill where Jesus was crucified, with the thieves next to him, or it's just a cemetery. But my inclination is to trust that it'll probably be something not unlike both at the moment. So, anyway, we have a good program. Lots of stuff to do. Um, yeah, and as always, this has been Darkwood. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time. I still don't like the noise you make. <laughs>